Welcome to my channel. Now I'm going to do an experiment. I've always wondered how effective sound insulation is. Now I've got the perfect opportunity here on this refurbishment project to actually test it. I'll show you what I mean. So where we've actually stripped back the existing building, we've exposed part of the loft upstairs, which is an uninsulated space. Now what you can see here is the back of the wall of the bedroom here. And before the insulation came all the way down the roof, the insulated envelope and across these joists. So what we need here is not necessarily a thermal insulation, but what I want to do is I want to put a sound insulation on that wall. I want to measure the decibels of noise on the bedroom side before we put the insulation in. We'll then fit the insulation and we'll carry out the same test and hopefully see a significant drop or a drop in the noise. Now, how am I going to do that? I've got a simple app, something you can download for free from uh, the app store and it will allow me to check the sound. So it's a basic decibel sound meter. So as I'm talking, I'm generating this level of noise. Now let's take this saw for example. If I just run this saw up and we'll see what that's doing. And we'll actually use this saw for the test. We'll leave it in the same position. So that'll generate enough noise. Now you'd imagine uh, in a house here, you're not going to be having stuff that noisy, but you may be having a party. Someone might be upstairs asleep. So let's, um, let's work on that basis. So I'm going to go upstairs. I'm going to set up this sound meter, leave it in the same spot, and I'm going to record the sound with the saw running here and see exactly what we've got. Then we'll repeat the process after we've put as much of that sound insulation as we can get in that wall and repeat it and see how it goes. So I set up the sound meter up here in the room and I'll shut the, I'll shut the door of the room as well to sort of contain it. And then we'll get Eddie to turn the saw on. We'll measure it and we'll insulate and we'll repeat the test and see exactly how it is. So it is really peaceful in here and um, it's going to be really interesting to see, uh, you know, the level of noise that comes up and how much we can get rid of, I think. All right, Ed, yep, stick it on. You ready? Okay, so Eddie ran the saw up and we got to around about 50 odd, 55 odd decibels. So we're going to insulate now and see exactly how it is afterwards. Get these masks off. Oh, that's the only thing in it. Yeah, yeah. Super itchy, but, um, but it's done. So um, we've got all of the back wall done. We've come around the side of the dormer, underneath the dormer, back up the other side and all the way over. So we've, we've basically covered it, haven't we? It already feels like the sound is dampened here, just yeah. standing here talking. Yeah, because it's, it, it, it was a shiny flat yeah. surface. And get, yeah. yeah, all the sound bounces around. So let's show you what we've done there. Eddie will point it out to you. Just come up with the insulation as you saw before. It was just the foil side of the vapor check passport. So now all our soundproof insulation goes all the way to the top where the dwarf wall meets the actual rafters and the other insulation. And then here is the dormer 
uh, which leads to the flat roof outside, and that is all insulated. And the floor, so we've, we've covered pretty much every basis, all the little cracks as well, we've added a bit of insulation. You saw Rob was doing the little slips, uh, little bits in there from the offcuts, so everything behind the sockets and all sorts is insulated, so it'll be interesting to see what the outcome is when we turn that saw on and go upstairs. Well, let's get it tested, eh? Let's do it. Let's do it. Okay, so I'm going to go back in the room and get the test concluded. So this is the other side of everything we've just insulated here. You can see that. This is that little flat ceiling that we did, which is the terrace access out onto the new flat roof. And there's the other bit of wall there. So it'll be interesting now to see exactly what difference it's made. So I'm going to shout down to Eddie and get it worked out. All right, Eddie. Ed, can't hear me now. All right, Rob, ready now? It's looking good. And I'll tell you what, I am super impressed. It's gone from, say, 54 to 44 decibels. That's, a, that's about a 20% drop. And um, it even sounds a lot less from up here as well. This isn't this was a simple job and I've only used 50 mil. I could use 100 mil and you're probably going to get down another 20%. So that gear actually works. And if you factor in the fact that we're going to put the new ceiling boards up and everything else down there and put units in, it's going to deaden it even more. So I reckon that that is a pretty good test. Yeah, yeah, pretty good. How'd it go? Do you know what? I was, I was amazed because um, in... Before we put the insulation in, we had about 53, 54 decibels yeah. traveling through the construction. And we had about 43, 44, so 10 decibels, which is, you know, it's about 20% uh, drop in yeah. sound, which I would say is a good result for 50 mil thick as well. It's not like we use 100 mil. So if you use 100 mil, it's going to be even better. But I reckon I'm pretty pleased with that. What do you reckon? Yeah, that's really good. And the time it took us to do it as well, to get yeah. that result, it's, it's put it minimal in, effort. Put it into perspective. There was probably 60 quid's worth of gear there, a pack and a bit, about 60 quid. It's taken us an hour and a half tops to do it all, including yeah. the tests. Yeah. And so, um, I could hardly hear you when you shouted at for me. Oh, really? On. So, yeah, a bit delayed on my behalf there. Ah, uh, no worries. So, that's it. I hope you enjoyed this. And it was as scientific as we can do out on site. I'm sure the manufacturers, manufacturers have done some serious tests, but I reckon it's well worth doing. So, um, and I'm pleased with the results. Thanks for joining me. Catch you again soon.